Welcome to Privileged Catamarans America. I'm Rob Poirier. I'm often asked by people to provide examples of the kind of customizations people are doing to their boats. So today we're going to do a brief tour of this brand new 510 and we'll address some of those examples of customizations as well. I think when people come to the purchase of a boat, they often bring the knowledge that they have from a, a home they've built and it, it sends them on the wrong path. When you're reconstructing a boat, when you're making a customization on a boat, the impact is very strong. There's a real domino effect because of the sheer density of systems aboard a yacht. And that's why when you want to move a simple cabinet on a boat like this, you're involving you know, mechanical systems, electrical systems, and plumbing systems. And of course, there's engineering that affects the, the structure, the rig. And that's why so few boat builders are willing to make those kind of changes. But because we have that in-house capability, these are things that we're able to offer our clients. One of the first areas that people change when they want to customize the boat is the salon area. What you're looking at here is our more popular setup, which is an L-shaped settee with the table, of course, that articulates you know, at an angle as well as uh, with electric legs that move it up and down. We have built boats where the owners have asked us to remove the table altogether and we've modified the galley counter here so that it's a breakfast nook. Another arrangement we did recently was a client had requested a U-shaped salon in the, in the space and that of course affected the size of the galley. Again, that was one of the more custom features. We've even gone so far as to eliminate the table and the entire settee allowing the owner to place a stressless sofa into this area. What we've seen happen in many parts of the boat is what started off as a custom choice by one client became something we've added to our option list. For example, on this vessel we have a four burner gas cooktop, but you may have noticed on some other boats that we've built that this is divided into a hybrid system where we have two burners are induction and the other two are gas, and of course sometimes it's all induction. So a lot of the customizations that we'll do on our boats are not exactly intense feats of engineering, such as this extra storage you see here where we normally just have the elevated counter. But what it does do is it shows our willingness to work with our clients. This is an example of where a customization became a virtual standard in terms of the way we rearrange the nav station here. We do have a boat that we're building in the coming year that will have a very customized office set up here that we'll be able to show you at that time. We're currently in the toilet area of the master suite and this is a change that we've never done before. The owner asked us to remove this bulkhead meaning that rather than fully enclosing a toilet and sink we've opened it up to the entire corridor and this works really well because there's a door directly in front of me here that would be the normal master suite door but we'll be adding a second door here so that with the two doors closed off rather than that fairly constricted area this this becomes a large dressing area again this is one of those semi custom features that I'm pretty certain a lot of people will adopt this is the dressing area in the master suite and again, what we're looking at is the most popular arrangement with a set of, of dual medicine cabinets. But we have had people ask us to put in full-size stand-up mirrors in this area. We've also installed refrigerators and integrated coffee makers here on the outboard side. I'm pretty certain this is the only 510 that we built that have these recessed sinks here in the dressing area as opposed to the surface-mounted sinks that you normally see. Here in the port forward section of the master cabin, we've done a lot of changes for people, including integrated ironing board. And I don't think we've built two of these boats where this large forward closet has ever been the same. This head, which started off this design, which doubles as a, as a head for both this aft cabin and a day head, uh, is another example of something that started off as a custom arrangement that's become an option on this boat. We've built about three or four office arrangements on this boat for, for clients, but this first one that you see in Cherry was certainly the most elaborate office we've built on a 510. We also built a very nice office arrangement in, in a four cabin version of the 510 that you can see up here, and this is in the port forward cabin. We're aboard the very next 510 that'll be splashed once the current 510 a manual is fully commissioned, this boat will be going in the water. As far as certain customizations aboard this vessel, the owner did a few things, including having as much of the stainless supports and hand rails and so forth done in powder coated white rather than the typical stainless. 
The other thing the owner did was he had this custom chin-up bar, exercise bar designed for the hardtop. The reason we focused on customizations aboard this 510 is simply because in the marketplace, if we're talking about the Privilege 650 or the Privilege 750, customizations on vessel of those sizes is far more common. What's really exceptional in the, in the boat market today is the level of customizations that we're being able to offer on a 50-foot catamaran. Thank you for joining us again. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that we'll have some other customizations to show you again in the future.